Yeah, just this week, those very first doses coming to nursing homes like here at the lodge at Brookline. Uh, health officials hoping that this is a sign of hope. We know that every day that we don't have this vaccine can be measured in lives. So it's not an exaggeration to say that being here today and not tomorrow and not next week, we're preventing an even greater loss of life. Today, the first vaccinations for long term care workers and residents. Yeah. The state hoping to administer nearly 175,000 doses by the end of the year, 21,000 done so far. Next week, health officials expect to start phase two of the vaccine plan. The exact details not clear yet. Phase two has a lot of groups in it, including first responders, teachers, all senior citizens and people with comorbidities. That phase will take months to complete and will run at the same time as the first phase. We have That's overlap and we need to do that for efficiency's sake. If we were to wait till we completely finish one group before we started another, then that just delays getting vaccines into Oklahomans. In the meantime, that historic effort to bring vaccinations to nursing homes, also bringing hope to residents like Charlene Cassidy. I want to see my grandbabies and hug them. And they come to the door and see me and wave at me, you know. And they stand and cry because they can't come in and hug me. I can't hardly stand that. It really is such a tough situation for so many people across the state. And although we know it will be many months more than likely until this uh, is available in a widespread way, this really was a hopeful day for so many people. CVS and Walgreens helping with that distribution effort. Tens of thousands of doses going out to nursing homes and long term care facilities across the state over the coming weeks. In Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.